Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're going to learn how to draw using basic shapes. This video will be useful to you if you're a complete beginner, maybe you're a bit intimidated by drawing, or if you're a bit short of ideas on where to go with your art and looking for some creative inspiration. This is also useful for 3D artists because you can take these easy quick drawings and put them into Blender or similar programs and use them as background images for your models. If you want to learn how to draw, don't know where to start and you like what you've seen here, then do check out my Kickstarter. Also check out the reward tiers, they're really great, you can get some excellent Game Dev TV course offers. Links in the description. So I'm using Krita, it's a free drawing program and it's a bit like Photoshop, but you can do this on pencil and paper or any drawing program you've got. What we'll be doing is starting off by drawing simple shapes and then converting those shapes into weird characters. You can see it's all very 2D, there's no shading or lighting, it's just about adding personality to simple shapes, getting used to the hand-eye coordination, having a bit of fun and experimenting. So I'm gonna start with a new layer. The layer tab in Krita is over here and I can press the plus sign and it adds a new layer just there. If you're using a digital program, do make sure that you have a layer above your original layer. Then when I start drawing something, I can hide the layer. But if I draw it on top of this layer and hide the layer, I end up with completely transparent background. So just make sure that you're on a new layer when you start drawing. Now this is not a tutorial about digital drawing, so you can do this on pen and paper just as easily. What you're going to start out by doing is drawing just simple shapes. I'm gonna to go to a different color so they're easily identifiable, so I'll choose blue this time. And shapes like squares, and they can be really rough like this, very badly drawn. Circles, triangles, and vary the shapes as well, so really pointy triangles like this. It's already starting to look like a character's face that looks a bit deranged. And of course, change the size so you've got small and big circles like this as well. Now if you're using pencil and paper, then draw this very lightly. If you're digital, then you can add a new layer on top of this. And with that original layer, you can lower the opacity. So in Krita, that's just the slider above here. And then I can go to my new layer and I can start adapting the shape and thinking what I'm going to do with it. Now maybe this is two funny characters here that are riding this big beast. So we can kind of join it together a bit. I'll go back to my black color up the top here. And on my new layer, that's just above my drawing layer there, I can start changing this into some sort of beast. So you can just go over the lines if you want like this and start thinking about how you want that shape to be. Or if I undo that, you can add a little bit of variation to it. So in this case, I'm gonna have a neck coming down here. And then maybe that stroke will go all the way down to some legs here. So I can make this a bit more curvy like this. Something crazy like that. Now I've gone very thick with my line here, so I'll just erase some of that. Just for the sake of slight consistency. So it's a really strange, unusual creature. Remember we've got our two characters up here, so let's come to those and see what we're gonna do with those. Maybe they're just sort of one-eyed creatures. It sort of looks like a face actually and a tail, so maybe I'll change it at this point. And you can do that at any time. So maybe I'll put a face here and he's a happy, weird, I don't know what he is. Okay, so we've got some weird looking monster like that. And that's as far as you need to go. Move on to the next idea. If you're really pleased with it, come back to it later and develop it in some way. Let's say he's got some sort of weird collar and a name tag, maybe some weird ears. That's entirely up to you. You can develop this in your own way, but I want to encourage you to just spend one or two minutes on this and then move on to the next one. So let's do that. I'll move across slightly onto my original layer, back to my blue brush and let's try some different shapes. So a circle here, and a big circle here, and two circles here, and maybe a triangle here, and a triangle here. Okay, so I was being completely random, and what I'm seeing coming from this, it looks like a bird maybe that's flying in to catch some sort of prey down here. So maybe I'll go with that idea. So remember, we've done that really lightly, or you've done it on a layer with low transparency, then you go back to your actual drawing layer, put it up to black, and let's see what we can do with this funny bird. So here's the head and maybe it's got a beak coming out here. Now I should have done that first, so I didn't have to erase the inside bit here, but that's fine. Back to some little eyes, so some there and there, just some circles. Maybe a little bit of a wing this time, and let's fill in this circle coming around here. Now claws are quite tough, but I don't think circles are a good replacement for claws, so I'm gonna go with triangles instead. It actually looks like the bird's tail feathers now, but that's the fun of this. You're experimenting, you're just trying things out. 
Now if you're pleased with one of these or you think actually I think I can take this a bit further then you can start to have a bit more direction in your initial strokes. So let's go back to that layer, hide the top layer and think well I liked this design but I really didn't like the way the triangles were angled. So I'm going to be a bit more deliberate this time and with my blue think well that small head, big body and wings were really good but this time let's just have some small feet down here and it's starting to look a bit like a penguin. So we've gone from this design into a sort of silly penguin design. From there you might want to take it even further and think big body but really tiny head, really tiny arms and tiny feet and see if that works for you. I think it looks a bit silly personally <laughs> but that's the fun. It takes me about 10 seconds to do that. I'm practicing my shapes all the time and designing interesting weird characters. So let's take a quick look at what I did earlier. So I drew out some shapes and they're all in red. So let's start looking at these three down here. When I added a few eyes and tufts of hair and feet, it looked like three really weird creatures huddled together. Some of them might not work as well. So this one up here, for example, started off with these weird triangles, had no idea what I was going to do, and then thought, well, it looks a bit like a dog, but its front legs look absolutely hideous. That's why I thought I'd turn it into a weird puppet, and it ended up looking like this. Not sure I like it, but it was a fun experiment. That's why it's essential to do these things really quickly and just not worry about them, move on to the next one. Then you haven't spent ages doing just one design that doesn't really work. More interestingly, if we go to the top here with this one, if I show you the starting shape, it was just a circle on top of another circle. And then I elaborated that bottom circle into some sort of tank track. And then this big circular turret type thing on the top here. And then I felt it was a bit unbalanced. It looked like it was gonna weight that way. So I put a little wheel on the front. Again, just using basic 2D shapes. So a triangle there, circles there, and there's nothing too complicated within it. So my challenge to you then is to start off with about 10 of these, joined up basic shapes, then do a draw over of each of those shapes, not worrying too much whether it's working or not. If you feel like it's not working, just quickly finish it, move on to the next one, and then maybe take one of these and develop the idea a bit further, such as this weird tank thing, which has a little bit more detail. The main thing here is to have fun whilst you're doing it, and not worry too much about the results. If you're enjoying this, then do check out my new Kickstarter about learning to draw, creating game art, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.